start recording again. Welcome everybody. Uh, how are you doing over there on YouTube? Uh, so happy that you're here watching episode two. And uh, yeah, we've got we've got kind of something something brewing. We've got a couple cities. We're playing on small continents. Uh, we're playing Teddy Roosevelt, potentially trying to go for a culture game. Um, I had this campus planned out, and it it had the worst thing ever happen to it. I mean, I'm glad we have iron, but I'm also upset because I need some good campuses around. And there was a good reef there. Um, there's a reef here, so I mean, that might make up for it. And it's choppable, so it's not the end of the world, but still, I, that was going to be a good one. So, rip. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tyler, this is awesome. You can't escape the past. You, you really can't escape the past. And I'm so glad that that's her. Um, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, welcome back everybody. And yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. We're going to have, um, a settle over here on the freshwater to be a productive little city. Um, another thing we could potentially look at maybe doing is the Huey. I mean, we don't have very many lake tiles. We have a couple, so that might be something interesting to do. Um, we have one turn, two turns left on the Apadana, and then we eventually want to start on pyramids over here. Um, we want to try to find them some more production as well. So getting a builder over here is actually really important. You have three charges left, but I want you there to chop. So I don't think buying a builder over here is a bad idea um, because then we can get the this other fishing boat online. We can get this so we can grow some more. Um, this is a uh, plains. Yeah. So eventually that way we can grow over here, work that production. Um, I also might want to think about buying more of the fishing boat tiles just because that's what our Pantheon is. We chose God of the sea and it's giving us one production, uh, for fishing boats. Um, <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get those fishing boats online up here. Um, there's not really a, any good districting. There's a plus two harbor. I eventually want a district with this government plaza once I get this down. Um, this this is going to be... Because the production is lacking so much here, I want to get the pop to grow. Um, the government plaza is going to have to come at four pop and probably go here. So that, that needs to be a priority so that we can start districting with this over here. Uh, the government plaza gives you plus two um, to your district set surround it. So that's super important. We can also chop this to make it grow. Um, but yeah, and then you're just chilling here to chop for the Apadana. So that was a dead end. Uh, where is our brave little builder? Okay, our brave little builder is over here. He's going to go get that goody hut. He's going to come back and improve something. It's going to be fantastic. And we met Guitarja. I think that's how you pronounce her name. So. Yes. Perfect. All right. And... We'll exchange information. You are all the way over here. Oh, no, that's... You're all the way up here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I mean, you could start on the government plaza, but, I mean, you can't... I'd have to buy out to that tile, which sucks. So let's just start with you with a monument, and then we can come back to whatever you're going to do. We're also one era score away from just a normal age, which is nice. Um, that'll be really good. Um, he's upset because we don't have a good Navy. Um, whatever. I feel like we've got two boats, which is normally more than what I get. There's also a nice campus somewhere around in here, but you probably, we probably will have to settle one of these. Yeah, we can probably settle that eventually around, pick up a lot of these fishing boats. I kind of like that. Steal some tiles from them up there. So we can plop another city here. I mean, that gets one, two, one, two, three, three, four, four, four fishing boats here. So that's really nice. Um, another city we could probably do to get some fishing boats would be actually this one. But I mean, I don't see a huge reason for that. 
come over here. There's a lot of settleable land around these couple city states that we've ran into. Um, over here is some definitely some settable land. I want to check this out over here. But yeah, lots of lots of game planning. Okay, um, where do we want to go from here? Um, production seems to be a problem in some of our cities. Um, not so much gold. So we could go construction, but to get that Eureka, I think we should go wheel first and then so we can build the watermill and get that Eureka. So go that into construction maybe. And then well, produ yeah, production is a problem, but also we need to remember that we want our land units to be able to embark soon too. So we can go, we can just go wheel and then we'll come back and reevaluate of where we want to go after that. Um, Cause we might have to go up to shipbuilding so that we can kind of get our, um, our settlers out to here, especially to get this campus. That's going to be like one of my big top priorities is getting that campus. Um, let's build this here and then we can kind of build explore that way. Where's my other boat? There's my other boat. I want you that way. I want you to go this way. Bam. One more era score. Okay, so we're at least in a normal era. Um, let's change governments. Let's do... Um, so let's break these down really quick. Um, so autocracy, if we're wanting to go for wonders, that might be the route to go. Um, that gives you 10% um, towards wonder production, which... I mean, we're going to be going for the Apadana. We're going to be going for Mausoleum. I mean, I think this might be the route to go, potentially. Um, the only thing I don't like is that there's you get two military policy slots, which I really don't use. Um, and you can get two economic policy slots up there in Classical Republic. Um, I usually don't go Autocracy, but let's go Autocracy just because I know that we don't have a heck of a lot of production right now and production towards the wonder is going to be very important um let's also so we're also going to do charismatic or no okay and that's the other thing too so there are no diplomatic policy slots in this government so we don't get the extra one as america so that's also a bummer we can also switch at any time but i think We'll be okay with autocracy so let's check this out that's a good campus right there it's a plus three campus um we really need to start getting our campus districts down we're 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 we need to be, be up here with her in terms of um science so that'll be a nice one there that's not a one two three one two yeah no we'd have to settle here to even think about getting this petra city and it's not even that great of one so yeah we're not going to do that um our brave little builders coming up to get that and then you're going this way you're going this way okay um so let's switch out of this and let's get we could get pyramids in our cap which is actually probably going to be a lot easier than doing that because there's not a lot of chops in this city and i think the apadana is okay <sighs> but i really think pyramids with the with the extra build charge two great work slots holds any type mm. the apadana is really good because uh, we're eventually going to put pengala in this city I mean, we could build the Apadana down here, chop chop some of this down in here. That also might be the move. Okay, so here, hear me out. So, if we did Apadana here, this is probably a little ambitious, but Apadana there, pyramids here, then we can put their theater square on this dead tile, and we can put their theater square here. 
Now what that does is it gives plus two for each of these wonders. So those are bo both plus four theater squares, which is really nice. Um, and I think that that is probably the route we're going to go. So let's let's chop this out real quick. Chop out these pyramids. And then we can plug in core V. So we have this and then let's just do conscription to save some gold. And then in our extra policy slot, um, I could have done land surveyor before that to save some money. We can do production towards builders because I think that they're still building a builder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, sweet. So now this chop is going to be worth a good amount of turns. So we're going to chop this, chop that, chop this, and then we're eventually going to stick a campus here. So that's the game plan we got going. So we also want to hop into getting our... Um, theater squares. It's nice to keep both of these. We're not really at war and we're not, we don't really need this. The Oracle's already gone. Um, these having these in our back pocket is little like policy switches is, is really awesome. Um, dude, Duff, Duff Lime Duff, or Duff time. Dude, I'm so glad you're here. Hello. Um, excited to meet you. Um, I hope you're enjoying the stream, my friend. Um, but yeah, we, we really want to try to get into a heroic age. And we definitely need to be placing down a pretty decent district. We found Delicate Arch. That gives us some error score. Let's check this out over here. We're also going to chop that. All right, let's send. We have, we have one envoy to send. Um, so I think we should hold on to it until we can suzerain somebody. Um, Cause that's gonna be era score, which is really nice. Another Geneva meat. Let's chop this. Gets down to five turns on that. We don't wanna send this envoy. Great Barrier Reef. That's really good. So what we can do is we can come down here and we can settle that. There's also a reef here, which is really nice for a campus. Unfortunately, the Great Barrier Reef, for some reason, doesn't give you... Um, doesn't give you any sort of, like, uh, adjacency bonus. So we're going to see what's around here, but I'm thinking right now, settle here, grab campus here. Not Big Ben, campus. There we go. Maybe something like that. Maybe Harbor. Let's just mosey on around over here. Um, okay, so then we can finally bring this guy down here. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that settle there. So we can chop some of this stuff out. Maybe district over here too some. So we definitely want to get down here and settle it, especially because that'll give us a lot of error score. So I definitely do think we should go straight for shipbuilding and then for construction. And then after we build this, we're going to um, be building some settlers. And we're going to eventually want to get to recorded history so that we can get another governor title and put provision on Magnus so we don't lose any pop. All right, we got another builder down here. Let's move up here. And we can chop something out here. We can chop out the harbor because it's in the way of the Apadana. We can we can chop out the water mill, which might be a good idea because that'll give us a Eureka. But I feel like the campus or the harbor is more important. Uh, 
Um, we have four turns till a policy switch. Let's do... Let's do the water mill, because it gives us a re Eureka, gives us a production, uh, which we'll need for the Apadana, because I don't think we're going to be able to fully build the Apadana um, just out of chops, especially even if we put Magnus there. Yes, I could have moved Magnus, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And no, we lost the pyramids. Okay, well, all right. Well, there goes all of that production and no pyramids. So looks like we are just going to do the Apadana here which is upsetting and hopefully we can get the Apadana and we don't get out of that we just lost a ton of production from that so we're going to do that we're going to chop both of those do a little bit of rearranging with our districting um, usually pyramids doesn't go until later too which is not great so let's do both of these here like that so we can chop both of those. Let's make sure that this is owned by, yep, here. So let's swap that so that this city gets the chop for that. What you, what you probably should do is you probably should wait until you know you have the production for from these chops to like fully get this. So I think that's what we're gonna kinda do. We're going to push these guys towards production anyway. And then you have two charges left. So let's, let's hold on to this for now. Let's do that. Okie dokie. That's really upsetting that we didn't get the pyramids, but that's okay. That's all right. Let's see. We also didn't get all of the extra build charges, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, and, oh, well, and the apadana is gone. So I'm glad we didn't chop. Um, and that kind of takes away our wonders. Those are two of the wonders. Usually pyramids don't go quick, but apadana does go pretty quick. Um, building wonders on deity is just hard. Um, but that's okay. I mean, we can we can do some other stuff. Like, let's chop out a settler with these two and then start on our campus. I think that that is the way to go. We can wait a turn to optimize um, our chop because we can put the settler card in. Get a settler to come over here and settle that other campus. Um, so let's switch policies real quick. Um, we might also want to change out of autocracy into classic republic just so that we can get some more stuff in here. So corvée, we don't need that anymore. Uh, let's do production towards builders, settlers. Let's also do conscription and let's do probably just all production in, in cities. I think that, I think I like that. Cause we're building builders, we're gonna be building other stuff, so. Um, okay, so let's chop this. That gives that two turns. Um, and then I think we can switch over this back to here. Um, and then after this water mill, we can get started on the harbor. So let's go ahead and just get that place down now. But finish the water mill, get that Eureka. And then let's do recorded history. Let's come over here. Got a little island with just horses on it. Found a barb camp. Okay. Got some more air score, which is nice. All right. Just keep on exploring with this little little brave builder. We also have chocolate, which is nice. It's a good tile.
Okay. Um. All right, so this guy can come down here and get ready to roll on down there. We can settle the Great Barrier Reef first, just so we get that era score. Um, kind of want to go get this. I feel like there's going to be barbs up there, though. Oh, no. There's a lot of barbs over there. Um, we should probably give some, them something that gives them some food since they've lost some. We have the Builder card in, so let's go Builder. Let's give them this chop so that they grow a little bit, but they also can get towards the harbor. Here goes Machu Picchu. Oh, misclick. Misclick. Sorry. Put a mine there. Potentially. Okay. We're going to go that way with the boat. We're going to come back around towards us with this boat. Brave little builder. Wow, there's a lot of chocolate down here. We might settle one of these chocolate. Would be a good idea. So a nice thing is if you settle on a resource, you also get it, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, let's bring this builder down here. Um, these guys are almost done with the granary. And then we'll be able to do the harbor after that um, and these guys are working on the monument what are you working we need a builder up here also pretty bad so we got a good amount of money I think we could get away with buying a builder up here get away with buying a builder improve some tiles and get this city kinda going um, so let's do that and then let's, I think they, we could just buy this tile. They can, they can swap this and build the government plaza because I mean they just really don't have any crazy districts and I want to get that down so when I start settling um, make this all about production okay so we have two envoys who do we want a suzerain um, city growth rate is 50% higher with the campus district Geneva your cities earn 50% signs whenever you're not at war with any civilization I'm really trying not to go to war so that might be a good idea. We also, this Kamasi is really good, but we don't have an envoy with them yet. Um, so what we can do is we can hold on to it and we can do a policy switch and get Susan of them soon. We're not in any rush because we're not at the end of an era yet. Um, Yes, true for all resources except bonus. Yes, uh, death time. Um, yeah, I meant um, luxury resources. So if you settle on a luxury resource, yeah, you just get that resource, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, let's plop these guys down some farms because they need, they need to grow a little bit. Um, wow, 13 gold per turn. Um, that's awesome. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to Philadelphia so we can also get a road up through here. So the road can kind of um, get some infrastructure going in here. Now, let's put a mine here to get them some production. and also gives us some error score. Bam. So we're at 29 out of 34 error score. Um, if you settle on banana, it just squishes them. Yes, if you settle on bananas, it squishes them. But I also sometimes like to settle on rice and bananas because it gives you that extra food on your city base. So instead of... Um, let's find a banana tile. So instead of, so in the, cause this has three, one. So if you settle it, you will get an extra food here. I think, um, at least you do on, on rice. So, um, rice and the bananas, if it's over one, I think you get an extra, an extra food, which is nice for growth. So. Okay, so now we have shipbuilding. We can embark, which is nice. 
Um, let's do construction because, again, that's going to help with production. We're also probably going to want to get apprenticeship. Um, I mean, we don't have a lot of forests left. I think we're going to be relying heavily on uh, industrial zones and eventually shipyards for our production in our cities just because they're mostly coastal. Um, so we don't have a whole lot of production laying around in here. Um, as well as here, like a solid industrial zone might be really nice somewhere around here. Um, potentially, I think you can aqueduct into a lake. So like doing an aqueduct here, um, cause that gives you bonus for an industrial zone. So having an aqueduct there, having the mine there will be good for this. So maybe something like that. Yeah, I think that looks really good. Um, and then kind of going back off this plan here, um, doing a aqueduct here, industrial zone here. Um, eventually, we could probably do an Eiffel Tower here um, or some other wonder. So, because um, Eiffel Tower is really good for... Um, national parks because it, uh, it gives one appeal for um one appeal for the uh all tiles in your sieve so that's awesome um let's see here let's just keep exploring yeah there's a lot of really good stuff over here all right let's come back let's farm this so we can get the Eureka for um, for irrigation, which will be nice. All right, let's get that. Okay, well, so that's not as much anymore, but I think I wonder why that's not as much there okay so let's do so that we can at least get a road let's put it in charleston instead and then we can come down and, and uh send it to one of them um okay so we've got a builder here let's do the campus now it is only a plus two campus but that's okay let's get a mine up there we might buy out to the iron as well um because that actually is going to give us some eurekas too so Let's see how much money that is. 80, okay, 120 to get out there. Um, let's bring this builder back here. Sweet, yeah, so we only we only need five more era score to get a golden, or a, actually heroic age. Um, yeah, let's, let's send that. So now we just need four. Sweet, so this settler actually can come settle this down here we also might wait on settling this so this guy can also come and prove that okay all right let's bring you down here to get that Um, in all actuality, one, two, three, I could put their campus here. That would actually be a better campus here on the rice than this one would be. So, but I need to settle at least two way to get that. So one, two, three, that should be okay for the campus out there. Um, I'll have to buy out to it, but that'll be okay. And then we can use this galley to kind of like guard our trade route. And eventually once we can get some harbors, we can get some lighthouses going, we will also be getting more, um, more trade routes. So that'll be perfect. So let's go around here. Who did we not move? Okay. Go up in there like that. 
Sweet. Okay, so we're going to be going into... Let's finish this, and then let's go back for irrigation real quick, and then we can go do whatever. You have two charges left, so let's just have you hang for now. You have one charge. That'll do that. Okay, you're focused on production. Good. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I like how this is going. Okay, you're six out of seven housing already. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's do this in here, and then we really should be starting to throw down our theater squares. We just don't have anything for it to have adjacency for, which is not great. One envoy. Okay. We'll be able to switch policy cards here and be able to take Kumasi here soon. Be the first suzerain of them. We're also nowhere near the end of the air yet. So um, we don't exactly want to go crazy with era score. Um, I don't I don't want this. But would you take would you give me gold? You're gonna give me seven gold per turn? I mean I'm not I'm not using it. So I mean that's not the worst. Sweet. Let's be friends with Katarja. Make deal. Do you want you don't need my horses or anything. So Um, do you want open borders? Would you give me anything for that? Sweet, you would. Okay. Do we have open borders? We do have open borders. Uh, you also need horses, and I'm not using the horses. Would you give me three per turn for that? Sure. Okay. Um, in all honesty, I would like to just hold off on this until we can get our ancestral hall. Also, we just want to make sure we can save some era score. We still have a bunch of era score to get in that next era. We have the swordsman. We have um, the horseman that we can get that gives us era score. We have uh, circumnavigating that can give us era score. So the more Eurekas we can get and stuff, the better. So, so we want to put in Diplo League here. Um, we're not really producing settlers yet but we're about to start going crazy with settlers um so yeah i think that this is really good here so let's do that um we also have enough gold to buy this which gives us another eureka Sweet, so we only need three. Let's see what we got going here. Um, so now that we need a quick policy switch, I think going down here is not a bad idea. Well, actually, we, we really want to be getting the mausoleum. So governor title, we want to promote Pangala, provision, and then we just want to be able to start spamming out settlers from our cap. Irrigation. Get this guy. Get some oranges. Uh, we have one charge left on you. I also want to see if there's any like wonders we could be building. Um, Machu's already gone. Killua, maybe. I mean, potentially the Great Library now that we'll have a campus right here. Or here? Yeah. Because the Great Library is still a thing, right? Yeah. Okay. We also have the Hanging Gardens, potentially, but... 
it's not always the craziest thing in the world. Okay. Yeah, let's go construction so we can get some lumber mills. I'll actually come down here and get ready to lumber mill for those. And then we're also just going to have you chill. So yeah, turn 87. We really want to make sure we're expanding too. Um, so we have, we have four cities. We at least want to get four to six more. I see a city over here. I see... Depending on loyalty pressure, yeah. So I see I see a city somewhere over here-ish. So that's one. There's a city over here. So that city is probably going to be here. Who freaking knows? Maybe we'll just build a crazy Petra city. Why not? One, two, three. Yeah, it doesn't reach that hill. So that kind of sucks. But if we put it there, put the Petra there, theater square here. But the problem is, is that we don't get one two three but we don't get these hills so that's that's kind of dumb too i mean maybe we just don't put a campus here i mean that's only a plus two campus maybe we just do i mean this this doesn't look like a lot to be honest there's not any production or anything here so maybe we don't even put a city there we can maybe just stick another city down here somewhere I'm actually kind of liking that better, to be honest. Maybe like here. Stick another city maybe down here. This looks kind of like a fun area. We also have this chocolate over here that we can come settle. I mean, the loyalty pressure is starting to get kind of bad over here. But I think if we can squeeze in a city on this chocolate maybe... Squeeze in a city on the chocolate. And then put a city over here. Because then we can put campus, a plus five campus there. So, I mean, this, who knows? This might also just be space race. Like, I mean, we have a lot of really good campuses. Um, and if we can get them down... That could be really nice. Um, this might just be a naval base game. So, we still have like 10 to 19 turns on the air. Oh my gosh. Um, let's go ahead and get ready to, to do that there, too. Yes. Oh, I didn't see what got built. Yeah, Machu Picchu. Sweet. Okay, so he's there ready to build that. Let's do this. Okay, so must have the library building. So let's go ahead and build the library in here. And then we can do can this go there we could just put the hanging gardens here i would much rather have the great library here and then we can kind of shift everything over because that's just it's better for us but we'll see um let's go ancestral hall in here and then let's purchase a builder to maybe chop it out because I mean we can chop this so um, we're really done with Magnus chops here so let's move Magnus actually over to Philadelphia because if we're gonna work on that there we can chop out this over here and then get working on settlers 
Um, let's also take the culture on Pengala for now. Um, I could have went, went laying there, but I don't know if I necessarily need it. Okay. Sweet. Builder up here. Um, we got a great person too. Bam. There's our religion. Can come over here. We can save that for Era Score too, which is nice. Um, I mean, we're going to be waiting a minute on chopping the mausoleum out. So let's let's just put him up here so we can chop this out faster too. Um, let's do this. Let's go here. All right. We should just build a until we know if we get that wonder, we can just build set a settler here cuz this city is growing really fast. Um, so we can just build that there. All right, we just need one more era score left till we get that heroic age. Bang, and there's the end of the era. Okay, sweet. Put you to sleep. All right. Okay, let's let's also just check and see where we're at on recording. Yeah, we can record for another ten minutes. Whoa, what what did what hap what did you do? So we only have a couple more turns left in this era. Um, we have eight turns. We just met a new player, so bam, that is our last era score needed for the heroic age. We have a lot of era score left to get in the next um, era, so that is nice so that we can hopefully continue to get goldens. Um, I wish we had some more faith generation because that would really help with um, kind of getting wide. But I think we're going to be okay. As long as we can build a couple settlers, get the settler card in, I think we're going to be all right. So let's go ahead and put a lumber mill there. Um, let's, I think we're going to wait to... Ch we're probably going to put a lumber mill here and chop this, probably. Um, and then I'm going to actually buy them both of these tiles. So... Oh, is Huey already gone? Or no, I haven't I haven't researched for Huey yet. Oh my god. Almost lost it. Okay. Alright, so we have four turns until we get Huey. So what can we put four turns into here? That would be helpful. I mean, we could put some turns into a builder. I don't think a builder down here would be bad. Um, especially because we're going to need Magnus after he gets done up here to chop this and then improve that. So uh, we have one turn left on the library and then we can go for a great library here. Let's, let's go apprenticeship here so we can start getting into some of these industrial zones around here that are going to power our sieve. And... Yeah. Um, you want my iron? Sure. I'm not really using it, but I'm gonna have you give me some more money. You can't give me more money. I want more of this money then. Ah, uh, ten more, whatever. Okay. Uh, we need to refriend up China too. Um, that's a good friendship to have. He's probably been building all of these earlier wonders. Sweet. Okay. Let's... Ooh. Darn. Okay, because I, I forgot that I needed to chop that. So let's actually pivot here. 
I mean, if we put the Great Library here, Aqueduct. Well, because if I put the Great Library here, I'm going to want to put. Theater Square here. Theater Square here. And then. Great Library. Where is it at? I know it's here. There it is. And eventually something else there. Or no, yeah, it would be both of these here. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. So yeah, I need to... I also can wait three turns to get some policy switches going. So I can wait three turns. We can build a builder in four turns and then chop that. So that'll be okay. Maybe we can also place... So that's aqueduct. And then this. And then both of these here, like this. That's more of what I'm talking about. Sweet. All right. Where are you going? I would like you to come up through here. All right. All right, so we're going to change policies here. Um, we have both of these going. We don't need this anymore. So let's go core V, um, do this. We're going to, now that this is here, we're going to chop this, chop out the ancestral hall. So now anytime we settle, we get a free builder, um, pair that with feudalism, which we're going to get here soon. And we'll be getting some really nicely charged builders, um, in that sense. Um, up here, I think we can just build a, another builder to kind of improve everything around here. Um, and then we have this builder that can come down, do some stuff there. Let's also move Magnus down to Philadelphia. Bam. And then... Perfect. Let's... We also have a promotion. Um, do we promote? I think we get Liang, and I think we put her in Washington for now, because we can eventually put her somewhere else. That's or actually, let's put her in Charleston since they're working on builders. And then we also have another promotion, which I didn't see which we can promote Pengala for the science. Sweet. Great library. Oh, we can't pop that down yet. So there's our builder. So he's going to take a turn to go over there. To be honest, I totally forgot that we wanted to settle this city. So I'm going to go settle that city since I don't need to settle that this this era. I totally forgot about that and just left him sitting there, which is probably not the best thing in the world. Let's put a turn into Let's put a turn into a screw it, a horseman just because that's some era score for next era. Hello, Nubia. Um, yeah, and then we'll wrap up this video after we get into the next era. Okay. 
So let's move through here. Let's bring this guy up here. This builder can also chop this over here. This builder is going to come and chop that. What do we want to put the chop into? That's the question. Do we chop another builder? Probably a settler. Take this away. Let's go ahead and place the mausoleum. Okay. Sweet. All right. So this sounds like a good place to put a cut in the video. So um, thank you for watching. Um, and thank you for joining us. And if you would like to uh, come on Twitch, check us out. Um, Civ at night, come join the show. And yeah, it's, it's looking good so far. We're going to hopefully start really expanding here. Um, I usually don't like to expand this late. I usually like to get most of my city settled by like turn 115. Um, but hopefully we can spam out a bunch of settlers over here once now that we have Ancestral Hall. And we can kind of start economizing some and really start snowballing here in the next like 40 to 50 turns. So um, that's kind of the goal. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to uh, see you guys next time here on YouTube. Drop a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much. So, also, Lucky160, thank you for the follow. Yes, everybody, thank you for the follows. So, goodbye.